on A, there's 4.1, 4.9. Oh, five is as high as it'll go. Hey guys, we got an emergency trouble call for a water system whose booster pump main breaker tripped, apparently, according to the operator. That was the language they used. The breaker's tripped and now there's no water pressure. So we'll head there and see if we can figure out what's going on. All right, see you there. All right, here's the booster pumps. One of them's running. That's surprising. I thought they said it was tripped. Here's our control panel. Very strange. Four amps, four and a half amps on our motor saver. Fuses are open on that one. And there it goes, it just shut off. Uh, not seeing any tripped breakers. Just drive here for nothing. All right, so after getting a hold of the uh, systems operator, they came, <clears throat> the pumps weren't running, the booster pumps. They have three booster pumps here. These are Mototronics motor savers. They're called RX-5s. They have three of them, one protecting each. Uh, and then they go down to motor contactors. Those all look good. And the motor contactors out to the motor. So this is our overload, rotation, uh, current unbalance, current o or, um, over voltage, under voltage, overload, underload, phase rotation, all those different protections. And so they came and saw fault, trip light was on. And he didn't say if it was one or both of them. He didn't make it clear, but he hit reset on all three of them. And then the pump started working. So let's look up the manual for them and see if we can find um, a fault history. Because right now we're not wiring or logging anything from them. <clears throat> and then I need to make sure we can do a remote reset. So there it goes. Pump 2 is now running. And if we change this to current on A, there's 4.1, 4.9 and 4.2 amps on each phase. Then you can go, there's our, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's an average? No, that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> fault history number one, latest fault, F087. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, is seven. So this is two, we'll say seven. Okay, and then uh, previous fault number two is 90. It's also seven. And previous fault number three, the oldest one is 93. Zero. Okay, that's cool. Then let's check on, let's check fault history for three. There's three. We're gonna go uh, 87. Also seven and 90, nothing. Okay. So now I got my fault codes. Let's find our fault code chart. See fault code list. Here we go. Here's fault code numbers. Overload during acceleration is number seven. Fault code descriptions. So we've got O O L A. Seven equals O L A. Overload. So they both overloaded. That's their most recent fault, two and three. Let's uh, verify our overload settings or match the real world. So that's pretty easy with these. We just check um, our nameplate FLA and our service factor settings. So that's one and two. So one is five amps, 
do is 1.15, 5 amps, 1.15, and then let's go look at our motor nameplates. Yeah, these motors are definitely getting a little rusty. So, okay, yeah, I believe we're 460, I'll double check, but I'm pretty certain we're 480 volts, and it says 5.9. So we could turn that into 6, and our service factor is 1.15. So yeah, that 5 setting is a little low. Yep, let's change that. So that's easy. Let me just go in here, function, parameter 1. We're going to raise that up to, oh, 5 is as high as it'll go. Ooh. That's interesting. That is not good. So, how do we raise that up? Adjustable between 15 and 100% of max amp rating. Okay, well, how do we change or find the max amp rating? Let's just try search the document for max amp rating. Find in document. And then here they're describing that parameter in detail. To achieve accurate readings on current values lower than 50% of the unit's max amp rating, it is sometimes necessary to pass the current through the CT windows more than once. We're not passing through any CT windows, it just has terminals right on the top. And this unit is rated to 5 amps. That's frustrating. We might need to get bigger units. Yeah. I think we need bigger units, honestly. These ones only go to 5 amps and our motors are uh, 5.9. And really, um, our motor nameplate is 5.9 with a service factor of 1.15. 5.9 times 1.15. So really, the overload on these is going to be somewhere around 6.7 amps. Uh, the actual overload for that motor. Right now, the overload is set at 5 times 1. 1.15. Right now, it's set at 5.75. Uh, which it runs pretty close to. And isn't accurate for the motor. The motor nameplate sets what the overload is. So, yeah, I think these are too small. We'll get some pictures of them and of the mounting configuration. And we might need to get uh, replacement units to go in their place. Four point seven. Four point eight. 4.9, about 4.9 amps. All right, well, see you on the next one.